So the Ballymore Cup this weekend we've had 28 schools from across the state. Uh, Ignatius Park College in Townsville, Rockhampton Grammar and Morris College at Emerald have come down as well which is great. Also have teams representing from Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, Brisbane Metropolitan and the Darling Downs. Yeah, so we have Faith uh, Lutheran College from Plainlands, they're probably our biggest success story this year. Uh, they played in the Darling Downs Super Schools Cup and progressed to the Ballymore Cup, which is great to see. Uh, I think also we've had St Ignatius uh, Park uh, up in um, uh, Townsville also come down this year after uh, a long hiatus. I think the last time they competed was in 2008. Yes, yeah, so we've had Iona College um, come out winners in our under 13 and under 15 age groups with some really, really good contests against Sunshine Coast Grammar. Um, and in our under 18 Division uh, 1, we had um, Sunshine Coast Grammar uh, hard fought winners over Downlands College. Oh, mate, that was awesome. So, I mean, I demanded quite a lot from the boys and they, um, and they fronted up really well. So, um, they saved the best for last. So, there were, there were quite a few heart attacks throughout the tournament. Um, but they really dug deep and, and I probably can't commend the effort um, that, they, that, that they put in, it was, um, yeah, it was unreal. We're trying to get outside the region and just try and um, play some bigger games and challenge the boys a little bit. We're getting a few challenges back in, back in the sunny coast as well, but we're just trying to, um, yeah, as I mentioned, just trying to challenge the boys as much as we can, push them as hard as we can and, and just develop um, you know, a really good culture within the school. And, and try and get a lot of um, boys pushing as hard as they can, you know, wanting to be wanting to be footy players. Oh, it means everything, you know, it's been seven years since Grammar's won it, and uh, to be a part of the team that wins it means everything to us. You know, it was, it was a great team effort, and uh, yeah, great, great work with the boys, and great work by Downlands putting up a great tournament and coming to the final and giving us a run for our money, you know? It's very special, it's something you, know, you dream of it's ever since your first Ballymore Cup, ever since you are a junior, you know, you dream of winning this uh, award, and for me to win it now, my final year of, uh, of school rugby means everything, so I'm very, very, very privileged. Uh, I was down here in 2007 as a Sunshine Coast Grammar School student and captain, and uh, we were fortunate enough to get away with the lollies that year. And I've obviously changed my strip since then, and I'm, I'm up, up north, six hours north of Rocky Grammar now as a coach, so a bit of a turnaround. Mate, I think it's an outstanding tournament for a number of reasons and being regional now has given me a bit more context. Uh, we have you know, limited opportunities to play high level footy up there and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for, for us to play a variety of different sides and different talent levels uh, and, and a great pathway for our kids who want to play rugby union um, and we need to keep that alive so very, very important. It gives, it gives their coaching staff, I suppose, a level of um, on where they think they are on the spectrum and you're always going to get probably most of the time the better schools in and around Brisbane, especially that GPS program and AIC, um, where they put a lot of resources into their rugby program. So it's a good, it's a good measuring tool, I think, uh, for country schools against the city schools. The more we hold of these type of tournaments or carnivals, I think it's, it's only going to get better for the game. One of the other things that's been really, really beneficial is we've had the Reds uh, Academy spotters here and the talent scouts here watching and trying to unearth and identify some of the up-and-coming talent from across the state. So this tournament is uh, one of the opportunities that the players have to be seen and make their pathway through to the uh, Reds Academy. So the Ballymore Cup is a really good launch pad for uh, players to get involved with the player pathway. Of course, we've had Tate, Tate McDermott involved, we've had Louis Wershon come through, and some of our current players here, like Spencer Smaller came from the Rockhampton Grammar School, is also in our under-18s Red Academy currently. Oh!